Welcome back. Good to see you again. In our previous lectures, we talked about positivism, post-positivism, and social constructivism. And today we are going to talk about another interesting research paradigm, which we call it pragmatism. Up to now, we have seen that the positivistic philosophy research paradigm, they believe in one reality, objective reality, and we as a researcher go out, uncover that reality lying out there, and to do that we do measurements, observations, and we maintain our objectivity in that process. So, on the one side we have like objectivity driven paradigm of positivism and on the other hand we have constructivism which is more like subjective approach where there are multiple realities, those realities are socially constructed and to understand those reality, we do not follow objectivity, we engage, actively engage in that process of knowledge generation. So you see these two ideas, these two paradigms are like opposite of each other. On the one side, positivism, which is complete objectivity, uh, the, the, the theory, the knowledge, the reality, the truth is lying somewhere and me, uh, we as a researcher, we go out and explore those. On the other side, you see constructivism, it says knowledge is not lying anywhere needed to be discovered. Knowledge is constructed in our, socially constructed uh, in our interactions with our environment and that's why it's subjective. Pragmatism provided a, a, a sort of a, I would say, middle path. So for them, they said, okay, this is complete objectivity, might be true in some case, but not completely. We also understand subjectivity, we also acknowledge that. So we do not subscribe to either one of this. In a way, we take a middle path where we think that reality is sometime in some uh, reality is context, contextual, means context-based. So maybe in some case, uh, reality is objective, but in some case, maybe it's uh, subjective. So they take a very pragmatic uh, approach to the question of what is truth, what is real. So they are like, yes, in some cases, maybe reality is contextual, but some, uh, sorry, uh, objective, some cases, it is subjective. So more, we need to understand the context behind that uh, when we are talking about what is real and what is not real. So, and also another thing to keep in mind, pragmatists, they don't really focus on the question of whether the reality is completely objective or subjective or what is reality, what is truth. They don't really focus on that. For them, they focus on like, we don't care about what is reality. What we care about is what is useful. What is useful? Pragmatists are more focused on solving real world problems. So they're like, if some approach from positivist try to help us answer or problem solve or real world problems, it's useful for us, we will take it. Uh, if subjectivity, uh, the idea of constructivism, if that helps us uh, problem solve a real world problem, we will take that. So we are not concerned about what is reality, we are more concerned about problem solving. And that's really interesting. Uh, it reminds me of a, a, a Buddhist story uh, in scriptures. And they say that oftentimes in Buddha time, 
2,500 years ago when some scholars, people come to Buddha and they often talk about, is there a God? Does God exist? And Buddha answered all the questions except this question, does God exist or not? And he was like, he kept quiet actually, what is written in the scripture. He did not answer this question. In a way, what he was focused on, like there is suffering around us. And let's focus on those questions of how to alleviate suffering rather than discussing whether God exists or not. It doesn't matter. I mean, for, for Buddha, it was like, it is not the most important question right now. Does God exist or not? For him, it was like, let's, let's see around us. You see around us a lot of suffering. So let's focus on how we can alleviate the suffering, how we can help people uh, lead a meaningful, purposeful, happy life. And, and that reminds me when I think about pragmatist, because that's what they also say, that we are not concerned about what is real, what is not real. What we are concerned about, what is practical, what is useful, and what can help us in understanding the reality uh, and generate new knowledge. What can help us to address the problems that we see around us. So, so that's the approach of um, pragmatist when uh, they, uh, when we think about the nature of reality. As I said previously, according to pragmatist, reality is context-based. So when we are uh, try to understand any reality, we need to understand the context. And maybe uh, sometimes it's objective, maybe sometimes it's subjective. And we are not focused on the nature of reality, we are more focused on what is useful to focus what is uh, important to address and how we can address real world problems. Now let's switch to the nature of knowledge. For pragmatists, as I said previously, they are more focused on the usefulness, the practical side of knowledge. So the nature of knowledge, they say, knowledge is what which is useful, which is practical which solves real world problems. Further, they also argue that knowledge is iterative. So knowledge is not fixed. So let's say there is a real world problems and I, uh, as a researcher, try to understand that problem and I, let's say, come up with a solution. Now, is this solution is going to be permanent? Maybe not. Maybe tomorrow this problem might come up in a different shape and different uh, kind, and then I need to again find some new ways to solve the same problem. So knowledge is iterative. It keeps building one after another. So you keep building um, the knowledge. It's not a static. It's not fixed. And Knowledge is, is, is uh, driven by the problems. So for pragmatist, knowledge is some, you generate knowledge when you start the process which is driven by how to solve the problem. So you start with the problem and then you move towards the solution. Another key thing that pragmatist believe is the approach of multiple ways to solve a problem. As I said, they, they argued that knowledge is contextual. So pragmatists are like, okay, what could be the best solution for this problem? What could be the best way to understand and generate knowledge? What could be the best way to understand the phenomenon that we are here to understand and generate new knowledge? So pragmatists are open to all kinds of methodologies which they think might help them in solving the problem they are trying to address. So they are open to all kinds of tools. So they are open to the tools offered by uh, positivistic approach to uh, 
doing research. They are also open to constructivist approach to solving a problem. Or, or, so they are open to all kinds of, of methods that are available. Their main concern is solving the real world problems. As I said, they are not attached to what is reality or what is not a reality. They are more focused on what works, what is practical, and what brings change in people's life, what is useful for people. So they are more on the practical side of the knowledge. Coming to the third point of values and ethics, uh, pragmatists are, are, are again, as I said, more focused on finding the solutions and what works best in a particular situation. So they are ethics and values. It's not a fixed thing. It's again driven by what is useful uh, and what uh, can bring more change to solve the real world problems. And, and that's why one of the very popular research method uh, that came out of this pragmatist uh, paradigm, uh, we call it mixed methods. Mixed methods uh, is, is an approach to conducting research where you as a researcher depending on the problem, you try out ways of data collection, ways of generating knowledge, which comes from quantitative research, meaning more uh, uh, positivistic or post-positivistic approaches. So you collect some quantitative data. At the same time, in mixed method, you also collect qualitative data, which is again an approach of constructivist, uh, constructivist uh, paradigm. So mixed method is a popular uh, method which is used by many researchers to address uh, real world problems and generate new knowledge. And mixed method is, okay, let's, uh, if it makes sense, let's use this thing, let's use this thing from here. So uh, pragmatists are very practical, uh, people, uh, not people, this paradigm, and they are uh, open to any kind of methodology that can help in solving a problem. Their main focus is, again, what is useful, what is, uh, what can bring new change in people's lives, uh, what can mix the world a better place, and, and that's why they use a diversity of approaches that can solve a real world problem. So that's briefly about pragmatist paradigm. Thank you.